Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel once again. You come to us today after we've had some unbelievable amounts of rain in the last 24 hours. It's just started to hold off a little bit, but we are starting to bum and ah when we need to get some of these sheep off of the ground next to the river. So here we have the river trend. If I go behind us here, probably another half a foot foot and this is going to have the whole field covered down here this is new land to us so we don't really know how the river coming up affects it which areas they can get to it's quite a worrying couple of hours hopefully this rain stays light but it's five o'clock this evening and i just can't really decide what we're going to do yet if the river stays how it is we're probably going to leave them down here for the night Not a good start today, is it at all? Well, that field that we're in last night is completely underwater. The sheep are the other side on the bank. It's just not good at all. Not good at all. Thought they'd be okay. Obviously, they haven't been. We didn't get too much rain last night, but as a lot of you know, with river levels, this is the water that's come from upstream. So it's not the rain we've had, it's rain someone else had. There is a bank of there, so they are okay. If the river drops, we'll walk these sheep out into the field. It's not a deal. I think we made the wrong decision. It's one of those things we can't create. We will learn from it. It's new land. I didn't even know really where it flooded we did get told the big field flooded in this one but the big field has hardly flooded and this one is completely underwater and to top it all off i'm obviously soaked you can see but i've lost my number plate as well we're going through the floods yesterday Ta -da! no number plate they are actually on an island there which is not ideal i wish they were this side because we could have just trailed them out so as a matter of fact, 23 with King Pine there. They're way above the water level, but they are surrounded by water, so that isn't the best thing ever. But they're on grass. Both sets of sheep are on grass, they're not underwater, so fingers crossed this river drops. Yeah, right, we're gonna go to the next group of sheep now. Luckily with these, we know that bit and I've moved them appropriately, hopefully. So when we get there, we'll just see a situation, but fingers crossed she'll be okay. Now we are down at the next lot of land, as thought they're all okay, but 10 of them, or what, 15 of them have been very clever and decided to strand themselves on the bit of land. Girls, please go through this water. I'm glad we fought back for more. I'd say we'd not have gone through that, I don't think. And don't think I'm enjoying this because I think it's just the adrenaline that's uh, set in now. We'll just shut those ewes in there. That way, they're not any risk of going and getting stuck anywhere. That field never floods, even when all this fence got wiped out a few years ago. It doesn't really get further than it has now. Things, those um, 15 you just stranded themselves in a little bit of grass up there. And this is what is causing all of our problems. So this is the River Trent, which the river it flows through all these fields. As you can see, it has actually dropped back a little bit, but it's burst its bank a little bit further up and that is why it's flowing into all these fields. So there's four fields here. Um, if you didn't know before, we've got two which are completely underwater. The third one which is half underwater and the fourth one where the sheep are now. But just to show the flow of this now, you would not want to get taken away and that. That is not good. Yeah, the last four or five hours stayed steady, steady at that two metres 36. Oh, this may be a bit of a thrown together video but this is literally as it happens but yeah. I've given up with the waterproofs had them on before and just doing nothing. Oh 
little foot. A little foot. We are back. We have left it about five, six hours. The river has plateaued, literally stayed at the same um, height all this time. But the last hour has just started to go up, so we're gonna have to move these sheep. It's not ideal, but we've got George and Ed in the traps behind me. I'm in the truck. <sighs> Fingers crossed this goes all right. It has definitely got deeper. I was concentrating on driving, but the water literally went up to the window screen. Like, I've never driven through anything so bad in my life. Look, this is George here. This is crazy. There was elite market today, wondering why we didn't have touch there. This is why. The water's in the trailer. Good girl. Good girl, Josie. We're coming to the rescue, girls. Oh my days. Oh, what a disaster. By the way, just to reiterate, this is not funny at all. Like, we're all laughing and stuff. Mainly, that is because just look how deep this water is. We are that, what's good? You don't know what to do, so you best laugh than cry because that's all you can do in these situations. But the sheep, luckily, as we we're told, there is an area where they can all stand. So George is just going to back up to them, hopefully. We're going to put a deck at a time in because we don't want it too heavy in case you can't get across the field. Then he's going to drop them off on some fresh pasture. If we didn't have a tractor, we'd be stuck. Seriously. Are you looking where we're going, Joe? First load loaded. Oh man, that took some work. They didn't want to go in. First load off. We're gonna be working into the dark. Not ideal, but again, we took the risk, hoping that they would come down. It hasn't. If anything, it's gone up slightly. Well, they've left me stranded. We've got six more ewes here on this island and then we've got 23 more in the other field. They're, out, they're getting all mixed up. We can't do much about it. I have actually seen one as we're loading with pink eye too, so that's not ideal, but it's what it is. That is not the main priority right now. I'm on the only bit of land out of about 40 odd acres, probably 50 odd acres here. This little land, little bit of land, the only dry patch. The last six, don't worry girls, your tax is coming soon. The team are here. It is going dark now, but they're here for the final load. The lights are on, we're gonna be okay. Girls, you're gonna be okay. Oh, it's so frustrating, like, the river level hasn't moved for hours. Then the last two, three hours now, it keeps jumping. It's up into like 242 now, I think. Put the graph on screen so you can see, but it leveled off and it suddenly jumped again. It can even see here, this little island is getting smaller and smaller that we're on.
Keep coming, keep coming. Whoa! They're in, they're in this side, George. Good girls, here you go. Here you go, girl. Good girl. Good girls. Warming air. Girls. Push them in. Good girls, good girls, good girls. Good girls. Good girls. We'll get them all in. Good girls, all loaded. One final check. It is moist around here, but that is all the sheep loaded up. Thankfully, because it was the only bit of land that still had sheep on, and you saw the nice dry trailer, they all ran in, barring the one that we had to just work with it. But sorted. Guys, what an effort, thank you. I know you don't like being on camera, George, but thank you, and Ed, thank you. We're not done yet, but. First round's on you, Ed. First round is definitely on me. Oh man, that feel. Oh, what? That was deep. Was that a deep bit? That was a deep bit. <laughs> right. Now we just got to rescue Josie from the car. We're having to leave the car here because it's stranded. And um, yeah, off we go into paradise. Sheep are safe and sound the day after on some nice grazing on a bit higher piece of ground, which is nice and dry. And you're staying here for a few days without water drops. It is going to be a little bit frustrating because that has affected about 60 acres of the grazing ground. I'm not sure how well that'll come back after flooding, but we're going to have to get on with it. That'll be one for the future, trying to find some more grazing. But apart from they're all pretty much covered in bears from that little bit of a hedge. They're happy. I'm happy because they're all safe. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm gonna just pop some drone shots at the end of the video so you can see exactly the extent of all this flooding. Both trail, both work. Go forward a little bit. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. 